The definition of home is relating to a place where one lives. So, by definition, this is today's home. For those of you familiar with the area, uh, I slept last night at a place called Finn Rock. And um, it is so awesome. It was kind of a midway point between uh, Springfield, where the solar company is, and uh, um, up at the uh, hot springs. And, you know, I just, <laughs> if there's any opportunity to sleep in the forest with no one around, sign me up. Because, aside from the fact of, like, in the city you have to look for parking spaces, and you know, kind of be aware of where you are and who's around you and, and you know, if you're going to get hassled or a ticket or parking ticket or whatever. Aside from all those things, <laughs> it is so beautiful out here. I mean, it's just, it is so amazing. And, you know, all of us city dwellers live in the rat race. You know, it's like we only get a dose of of nature on like the weekends or on a vacation or something like that. And there, there's actually people living here year round. So they get to soak in all this amazingness all the time. And uh, makes me kind of jealous, you know? Makes me kind of wish that I grew up in a place like that. Look, look at how amazing that is. I might be a little bit fast to, to see that, but anyways, you get the idea. <laughs> start installing the uh, charger. We'll just say charger. It's called a, a alternator regulator. But for simplicity, we're just going to call it the charger. All right, so here's the latest. I'm on hold with O'Reilly's in Utah, the place where I bought my alternator when it broke down on the freeway because I might not have an alternator that works with this um, with this unit that I got, this Walmart thing, so I'm crossing my fingers. I hope it'll work with my alternator. If not, I'll have to buy a separate alternator, and I think those things are actually kind of expensive because they're special ones which take this plug thing right here. All right, so we got some good news, and we got some alternative news. Good news is it will get fixed. The alternative news is that I purchased the wrong product for the type of alternator that I have in the bus. So we're going to have to order some other parts. So that means I'll be back here in about a week. Um, I was upstairs giving a social media lesson to uh, Garrett. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, so that means I don't really know where I'm going, but I know I'll be back here in about a week or more. Uh, maybe. 10 days or something, so uh, where to go, what to do? Another, another adventure in the saga. installed today. I don't remember where I left off because I was editing videos all day so I apologize for not keeping you guys updated and making an interesting video throughout the day but um, yeah me editing is not all that exciting in my opinion. It's uh, actually the thing I like least about doing daily vlogs. If my videos could edit themselves that would be amazing. So here's what happened. I bought a unit to charge off the battery and we could not use that unit. Uh, it's for marine applications and anyways, didn't work. So 
then we thought, oh, maybe we could use uh, another unit from the same company, and uh, for some reason we didn't, and so we're using some things that they use for their other installs, and I don't know the technical stuff, and you probably don't know the technical stuff, so let's just skip it. Um, but <laughs> they ordered a part, so that means I have to come back um, in about a week. Um, so, in the meantime, let's have some fun. I'm in Oregon, and uh, I definitely want to go to more hot springs. I definitely want to go to Crater Lake, um, maybe Mount Hood. I mean, who knows? It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Maybe I'll even go to Washington or something. I don't know. All I know is that I'm excited to get this beast fixed finally hit the road and um, and have full energy wherever I go. So, uh, also, huge thanks to you guys over at AM Solar, uh, Cody and uh, Mitch, um, Garrett and every Ray, everybody else uh, over there for helping me out and being super awesome and flexible with the schedule to get me in and everything like that. I appreciate all the support. Um, so anyways, I'm probably gonna just pull over and try and figure out where exactly I'm going. I have no idea. Well, uh, I think I'm headed towards a place called Oak Ridge. Well, I know I'm headed that direction. Uh, the reason being, there is something called Crater Lake National Park, which is one of the most insane places uh, to visit. I mean, never been there, but it looks like it is. And so, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to do because my schedule has now changed since I have to go back to uh, uh, AM Solar uh, for the rest of the, uh, the fix. So, I mean, it's about three hours away, maybe four hours away in a school bus. And uh, yeah, I, I, like, I can't I can't think of anything better than to go and, and check it out. Um, so we're, that's where we're going. Also, I'm <laughs> pretty hungry. I, um, I forgot that Cassie gave me a bunch of dehydrated snacks and Aunt Patty gave me some uh, dehydrated uh, uh, kelp little seaweed snack thingies and I basically have, that's all I've eaten today. Uh, and I had a little coffee and hot tea. All right, after a brief scare of thinking that Crater Lake is closed, it is in fact open. So I'm gonna head towards that direction. But first I'm gonna stop by and get some groceries because I'm out of food. Hey, check out this haul from the supermarket, which is not so super, it's just a neighborhood little thing. Cheese curds and peanut butter and toast or bread. Um, I need to start being on a better budget because, <laughs> you know, there was some smoked salmon in there that just looked fantastic. And Pacific Northwest is the place to get salmon, especially smoked salmon. Um, but I need to be on a better budget and I will probably implement some other uh, eating habits in the future, you guys will see but I definitely want to incorporate more vegetables and fruits and do like more um, like smoothies and purees and stuff like that because um, it's cheap, it's easy, it tastes great, it's healthy. You know, help me out with some, uh, some, other, <laughs> some other reasons. But yeah, so um, I don't want to go all out in there. So I spent I think $15 uh, and that is all I spent today. So that is not bad. That is within my budget. So yay. All right, this is uh, where I'm calling home tonight. I'm in the town of Oak Ridge, Oregon. Um, it's a pretty small town. And uh, funny enough, for any uh, schooly people out there or school bus people, uh, there's a dude who uh, runs the Bus Life Adventure account who, uh, who lives in this town. So I hit him up and uh, I think we're gonna meet up tomorrow for uh, some coffee, some breakfast. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of relax in the bus tonight. Got a nice little spot. I don't think it's in, uh, in the way of anyone. 
<laughs> um, it sounds like there's a river right over here, and I, I think there is, unless it's a the wind. No, it sounds like water. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill for the night. Look at how cool it looks with like the lights on the inside. And um, tonight's dinner is going to consist of, besides the cheese curds and uh, peanut butter jelly sandwiches, I'm gonna have some oatmeal, some Bob's Road Red Mill oatmeal. Um, pretty good stuff. So. That's it, uh, sorry today wasn't all that adventurous or uh, DIY. I was working on some uh, videos and stuff like that. So um, next week um, I will show you guys what's going on with the the, uh, the energy situation going here. So I'm um, pretty excited about that. Um, so anyways, just gonna go use the, uh, the men's room and call it a night.